hi everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be using this die set from scrap diva designs this one is the paint tube shaker die set and i honestly had so much fun making these it just surprised me on how much i actually enjoyed making these so it was a really nice surprise i've recently just had my new nails nail set done and i'm absolutely loving these love the florals on them so much i had to show them off <laughs> So I've got everything pre-cut and cut on my dye machine ready. I've got everything in this tray so it's all kept together. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I assemble one and decorate one. I'm using this collection from Rosie Studio. It's called Roll With It. And I'm using this really pretty sequin mix, which is from Carly, um, which she sent in the group swap, which I'm currently hosting. I felt like it was a perfect sequin mix for this collection. So that was really fitting. I love to pre-cut everything ready to make my projects and just have a big die cutting session and then I'm going to just sit down and make loads of things. Um, so these are the pieces which you get in this die set. You're going to get um, like the backing piece, the foam layer, the acetate layer and you need a little edge part for your to hide the foam. You also get a little paintbrush and a little um, squirt of paint which is really cute. Um, I just did a little white card piece, like a backing piece to make it nice and sturdy because I always like my embellishments to be as thick and sturdy as possible. And this, the same for the little paint. I did a little a white backing piece to make that extra sturdy. So I just glue on the foam layer and then add my sequins in the middle. I'm just using the Nouveau liquid glue. I realised I didn't have a spoon for my sequin mix, so I was just running to get one. And I just spoon a little bit in there and give it a little shake so I can see how it's going to look. I wanted to add quite a lot of sequins in these ones. And then I just glue the foam and add the acetate on top. And then for the top layer, I've just cut it in some white glitter card. So I just pop that on just to add to the decorate, decorative layer. And then it's now time to decorate my little paint tube. So I've cut the paintbrush in some gold mirror card and I'm just going to add that on at the side and then a the little paint coming out of the tube. I had my flower tree out ready because I knew that I wanted to add some of these um, pearlescent flowers that I recently got from Timu. Love them. It's the first time using them so when I saw them in my flower tree I was like I'm going to use them on this embellishment. I just play around and see where I want the little paintbrush to go. And then I just add a little bit of hot glue to stick that down. Next I get my collection out so I can see um, what decorative embellishment pieces I'm going to add on. I knew that I wanted to add some puffy stickers because they're so small and the perfect size for this embellishment size. I go with this little butterfly here in the corner. And then I'm also looking for a phrase to add on there as well. Thought these ones were a really nice size, so I add one of those in the middle. I 
to be adding a little enamel dot at the bottom so it's like as if it's like a little dot of paint but I wasn't really keen on how it looked I changed my mind on that And then I just go and add some more little flowers on there. These little dainty rose embellishments. These are also some ones I recently got from Timu as well. And here is my embellishment all finished. I was so happy with how this turned out. I think it looks so cute. And I love how well all the colours go together as well. I love it. So after I made this one, I went ahead and made all of the other ones which I had cut out ready. And then I packaged them up so I can gift them to some crafty friends like this got a big pack and then also a mini pack because you get the two sizes in this die set um i'll leave the link to this die in the description box and i also have a 10 percent off discount code as well and that discount code can be used on any dies on scrap diva designs website i just had so much fun making these you'll have to let me know what you think of them in the in the comments so thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.